everybody, Mark Spec the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I'm going to open up something I have not opened in over 20 years. A sports cards pack. If you're interested in seeing what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So, um, like I said, I'm going to end up opening up a sports card pack. Something I have not done in over 20 years. As uh, This is something I used to collect quite a bit when I was a kid. So, uh, obviously now, I've gravitated more into comics you know, in the last 8 or 9 years. So... Um, it was one of those things I was at Target the other day and uh, I was doing a few errands, picking up a few things for Father's Day and um, ended up having the, the uh, gift card section. Obviously, they have the cards, the Pokemon and stuff like that. So I was like, well, you know, lately I've been watching a lot of the uh, sports card channels on YouTube, just to name a few, Slim's Comics and more, um, uh, JB's Ghost Hunting and Other Hobbies, Rose City Sports Cards. Freedom Surfer cards and um, Callie and Jordan squad. So shout out to you guys for uh, you know convincing me to buy uh, a sports cards pack. So uh, this is going to be the uh, Panini Contenders 2021 football pack. This is a booster pack. So uh, meaning that there's uh, this is going to be a 42 cards in total. Um, seven cards per pack, six packs per box, as it says right there in the box. I've already taken off the uh, seal wrap just to save some time. Um, there's some pretty cool, you know, players in this class to chase. Um, obviously, I'm a, you know, big Jaguars fan, so I'm going to be hoping to get some Trevor Lawrence cards. Um, you know, as you can see, some of the players out here, these are the chase, the chase players, Trevor Lawrence, um, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Trey Lance. Zach Wilson and Najee Harris. So those are going to be the you know the player cards to be looking for in these packs. Um, let's see what else about these. Some of the cards says so find one autograph or rookie ticket swatch variation. That's what we're looking for. Those are like maybe like the big hits are those. And then there's a lot of other um, either inserts or uh, foils other variations to look for in these packs. So uh, that's what we're looking for. I was looking at a few of these online and I found them pretty interesting because um, the way the card layouts look pretty cool. It has like a season ticket on there, you know, seat row and all that and so forth. So I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, as for purchase price, so this is like my equivalent of buying like a $25 mystery comic box. Um, this is what it cost. I think it was $26 at Target. So uh, things with sports cards is that, you know, you buy seven cards at, uh, I don't know, three, four dollars a pack and you may get nothing. Whereas um, in a comic mystery box, you pay $25, you get some comics and uh, you usually get your worth. So that's kind of the more risky version when it comes to sports packs. But uh, you do obviously have the opportunity of getting, like I said, a big sports hit, like um, a rookie, you know, autograph that can be worth several hundred dollars. So that's the, it's a much, much riskier, um, you know, purchase than a comic mystery box. But uh, it was one of those things you're at Target and uh, you get one of those, um, you know, urges to buy something like, just like you do if you go to a comic shop and you just see something on the wall. Like, oh, I got to buy this. Don't really, you know. So uh, <laughs> that's what uh, ended up happening in this scenario. So uh, I'm going to open these up, show you the cards, and then we'll see whether or not, you know, it was worth it. All right. So first pack. So like I said, the uh, show you the layout. I think they look pretty cool. Pretty cool layout. How it says a season ticket on there with the row seat and uh section so uh start showing off the cards so uh, here you go got a two of the tag of viola uh, i watched them quite a bit at university of alabama chase claypool 
And a lot of these are just going to be, you know, your commons. So they're not going to be, you know, they're worth like 10, 20 cents at most. Carson Wentz. Terry McLaurin. Aaron Darnold. There we go. Got a DJ Moore. And each card pack will have usually an insert or like a small hit. So uh, what do we got here? So in this one, it's going to be Devontae Adams, which, of course, now he does not play for the Packers. He's now at um, the Vegas Raiders. So this is a chain movers, and this is, you know, going to be like the quote-unquote hit of the pack, which looking these up, they're not really worth much. They're probably worth like a dollar at most. So uh, that was the first pack. All right. Okay, pack number two. Mari Cooper. There go. Justin Herbert. So we're also looking for the rookie cards too. There's some, play, you know, rookie of the years. Uh, Mark Andrews. Nelson Aguilar. Dak Prescott. Ben Roethlisberger, and oh, here we got a rookie. Nice. And of course, it's uh, the Jaguars player. So we got uh, Travis Etienne Jr. I believe he played for Clemson, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, rookie of the year contender. So that's pretty cool. Nice. But still not really, you know, a dollar. So these really don't. You know, not really worth much unless they uh, pan out to be any, you know, anything down the line. The ones you want to look for is like your Trey Lances, Justin Fields, Zach Wilsons, and your Trevor Lawrences. All right, so that's two packs down. All right. All right, so we got uh, Alan Kamara, Drew Locke, which now... He plays for uh, Seattle. Uh, they got that big trade, so you got Russell Wilson going. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And you got your uh, the two players that got traded. Uh, Russell Wilson, Jonathan Taylor, which he had a great season last year. There you go. We got uh, Kyler Murray, and then let's see, Josh Allen. He had another. He had a great season last year. And uh, Andre Johnson, Gladiators. There you go. So uh, that was the hit of the pack, which, like I said, nothing really earth-shattering so far. We got three packs in and uh, nothing to brag about thus far. All right. We got three packs left. All right. We got Randall Cobb, AJ Brown, Matthew Stafford, uh, Tredavious White, uh, Damian Harris, Mike Evans. Oh. Here we go. We got our we got our swatch hit. There we go. So we got um, a rookie ticket, Javante Williams, and uh, this is pretty cool because it's like a little jersey patch. That's pretty neat. So uh, Panini Contenders seat thirty three. Um, as you can see, there's a little V there at the back. A little, I guess it's one of the variants or whatever variations. So this is the hit of the pack, definitely, because that's what we're looking for, as they said in the packs. Um, find one autograph or rookie ticket swatch variation, which this was the uh, variation. Very cool. All right, so I'll put that one aside. And then we'll look up, like I said, at the end, we'll look up the values to see if we got anything to see whether or not the packs were worth it. Um, those rookie tickets... Usually not worth too much. Um, I don't know, five, ten bucks at most. 
unless it's like signed, signed copy. So uh, I was hoping it was going to be one of the bigger rookie patches, but uh, we'll see what else we get. We got two more packs to go. That was the best one so far. All right. So Jacoby Myers. Zeke. Jojo Smith-Schuster, David Johnson, Derrick Henry, Cooper Cup, which had a fantastic season, and what do we got here? MVP contenders. This is that insert with uh, Aaron Rodgers. All right. Put that one aside, and. All right, last pack. This will be the make or break pack. We'll see. So far, <laughs> so far we're in the we're in the L. All right. So what do we got? Tyron Matthew, uh, Marquise Brown, Adam Thielen. Nick Chubb, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Cooks, and then the last card, oh, that's cool, Legendary Contenders, Joe Montana, that's pretty cool, all right, so that was the pack, um, my guess <laughs> is we took an L on this one, um, let me just... I'm going to pause this real quick and look these up and then see what we got. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so after looking at the uh, prices on eBay, <laughs> lo and behold, I was not surprised to see what they were going for. Um, so I'll just run through the, um, the, the top cards of the packs. So uh, Joe Montana, Legend cards, a dollar. Um, the Aaron Rodgers, just the standard MVP, also a dollar. Uh, Andre Johnson, Gladiators card, a dollar. Uh, Devontae Adams, Chain Movers. These are pretty cool. They look, you know, almost reminiscent of the uh, 90s cards I used to collect. Uh, but not going for much, just a dollar. The, and then we get the two rookie cards. The uh, Travis Etienne Jr., Rookie of the Year, also a dollar. And then the, um, the top card of the entire pack, the Javante Williams rookie card with the patch. Um, I saw one high price of $20, but other than that, the rest were selling for about 5 to $6. So uh, I'm going to say it was $6. So all in all, 6 7 8 9 10 $11. <laughs> $11 for a $25, $26 booster pack. So uh, not worth it in my opinion, but it was fun. You know, just the, the whole nostalgic thing of opening up the sports card packs again, that was what made it fun for me. Um, obviously, losing out of the money is not a big deal to me. It was just more of like bringing back a little bit of those, you know, inklings of when I was a kid opening up these packs um so uh that was it hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you did feel free to hit the thumbs up comment down below if you guys have opened up one of these packs below um before and see if you guys got any hits but uh in my opinion <laughs> it was definitely not worth it but uh that's it for now until next time rocks with the comics out